everyone, my name is Sarah and this video talks about SDG number 5, Gender Equality. This goal emphasizes on achieving gender equality and empowerment for all women and girls. Many professionals believe that the other SDGs depend on the achievement of gender equality. By providing the same rights for all genders, there would be balance in social, economic, and environmental sustainability. The UN is fighting for women and girls to have the same access to education, healthcare, work, and political representation. In modern times, there are more women in the workforce than ever. But some regions still have inequalities and are denied the same work rights as men. There can be unequal pay, discrimination, and violence. In 49 countries, there are no specific laws against domestic violence. Child marriage under 18 years old is still widespread in many parts of the world. This can be seen in the graph, where dark purple represents high numbers of child marriage. Globally, almost 400 million women now aged 20 to 49 years old were married before 18 years old. Japan is facing gender inequality. In a 2018 gender gap study by the World Economic Forum, Japan ranks 110th out of 149 countries. This is very shocking since it's a highly developed society. For the USA, it ranks number 51. In 1947, the Japanese government passed the Gender Equality Clause to add to the Constitution. It introduced steering the country towards equality. Women participated in more economic roles in the 70s. The Equal Employment Opportunity Law in 1985 was particularly revolutionary. It allowed women better labor standards, equal employment opportunities, and the beginnings of legal protections. But implementing this law was easier said than done. Many feminists agreed that there were not enough penalties if their employer broke the law. Gender norms are still strong in family dynamics. The caretaker role has generally remained the same. There are a few significant reasons as to why this is. The first reason is the overworking culture for men who are forced to prioritize work and long hours. A large number of women are considered non-regular workers who are not protected from firings and layoffs. Many of the jobs are low-waged. 53% of Japanese women from 20 to 65 years old fall under this category, compared to only 14.1% of men. A majority of firms desire young, fresh out of college workers, making it difficult for returning mothers. Management is still male dominated. Women hold 11.2% of directing positions, 18.3% of section leaders, and 14.7% of supervisors. In the U.S., almost 52% of management and professional level jobs are held by women. There are strong perceptions that women will retire early to enter motherhood. This was seen when a scandal broke out in 2019 where numerous Japanese universities admitted to manipulating medical entrance scores of female applicants. Even if a female applicant scored perfectly on the exam, they'd only receive a maximum 80 out of 100 points. There were fears that women doctors will eventually quit to pursue motherhood. There are gender segregated career tracks. They include the managerial career track and the clerical track. Many women follow the clerical track, which are deemed as dead end jobs and lack career development. Out of 153 countries on the Global Gender Pay Gap Forum, Japan ranked 121st, which has declined by 11 spots since 2018. Iceland continues to be number one as the only country with 0% gender pay gap. Yemen ranks last as the least gender equal. In Japan, men earned 23.5% more than women. While living in Japan, I was very alarmed by these statistics. The U.S. can improve their own gender equality since women are less represented in high-level positions. But Japan has a lot to do to raise their equality rank. I think there is much more support in Western countries for women who want to speak out against discrimination in the workplace. 
gender equality is being talked about in Japan. The prior Prime Minister, Abe Shinzo, wanted to join the SDG 5 efforts by incorporating it in his Abenomics program. His goal was to increase the number of women in the workforce by 20% by 2030. While there were criticisms that it was too ambitious to achieve, the program released significant policies such as free early education between three to five year old children, free daycare for toddlers if you qualify, and offering paternity leave packages. The current Prime Minister wants to continue improving women conditions and provide more daycare services. Feminism is spreading. A movement called Me Too is viral for Japanese women to express the discrimination they face in society. It's also a popular trend in Western countries. Since living here, I have been an English teacher for kindergarten schools and elementary school students. When we discuss jobs, most of the girls say that they want to be a stay-at-home wife. As a reminder, there is nothing wrong with that, and if you want to be a caregiver, then you can be a caregiver. But I think it's important for parents to expose their young girls to the many careers in the world, like politics, business, medical, etc. Sasebo City acknowledges the need for gender equality. They created a Women's Advancement Support Declaration to promote women in top management positions while balancing a family life. For women who experience abuse, gender inequality, family issues, and work harassment, there is a consultation number in monthly meetings. To achieve gender equality, the UN has targets that focus on eliminating violence, exploitation, and harmful practices. It's important to recognize and value the shared responsibility of a family household. By ensuring universal access to reproductive rights and the ability to enforce stronger legislation, all girls and women at all levels will have the empowerment to change society for the better.